So, what are the places for communities and why do they matter? Uh, places for communities are, they can vary a lot because of, obviously communities vary a lot and uh, uh, community spaces can be outside, they can be inside, they can be for serious activities like co-working and they can be for fun. Uh, what distinguishes them uh, is that they are neither public uh, nor uh, private, so they uh, not only serve uh, some particular purpose, but they also create this almost mental space that's between your public life uh, and uh, uh, your um, private life and creates uh, this another dimension of community that you belong to, which is um, uh, very uh, crucial for like healthy social and mental well-being and healthy life. And uh, therefore, community spaces that facilitate that um, are, as a conclusion, very important. Describe the ideal place for your community and what your community is. Um, it's hard to uh, think of one particular community right now, but uh, I guess uh, what uh, me and other members of Georgian Young Greens here have been talking about is how much we would love to have this kind of uh, uh, shared uh, uh, semi-open space for our uh, organization and party. For example, we were thinking about community garden, and uh, since we're talking about ideal places, let's dream big, uh, and um, maybe some kind of social enterprise and co-working space like um, the ones that we were attending here in Streha and uh, Brastor, uh, which are uh, spaces that uh, bring together uh, people from lots of uh, vulnerable uh, groups uh, that uh, create um, like uh, some sort of uh, small but uh, real life realization of the politics and values we carry and uh, it would be very great uh, for uh, our party to have this kind of place like this. Even if uh, it is just like in a at first, like only in our neighborhood uh, where our office is, like maybe small garden or something like that. Even that would help us uh, reach out to our neighbors. Yeah. So, your experience with community places? My experience with community places, uh, I guess it started before I even had a concept of community space. Uh, so. Uh, near my school, in my uh, neighborhood, there was some abandoned laundry or laundry. Basically, this place where uh, uh, in previous century, like people would take their laundry and it would be washed. You know, uh, so uh, that abandoned building of that, where me and my classmates would often go after classes or while skipping classes, don't show this to my parents. Um, and uh, we would uh, like talk there, we would make makeshift uh, uh, furniture from bricks, uh, and we were super excited about having this uh, uh, space that was like ours and served this purpose because we could hang out in public and we could hang out in, in each other's homes, but it was like, uh, it wasn't some kind of political move or anything, but in on and like almost instinctual level, we felt like gravita we gravitated to having this kind of uh, space. And also I remember uh, since uh, this um, building had a background of being like uh, old laundry and uh, then it was abandoned, we were thinking, uh, we, when we were gathering there, we were brainstorming ideas about horror movies that would be taking place around this place and we would like create, elaborate mythology behind it and etc. So, yeah, that's my experience with community spaces. Okay. Do you have example of community places which have a um, global impact? Uh, community place that uh, has had a global impact uh, would be Stonewall Inn. Uh, that was uh, a gathering of um, a gay community in uh, USA uh, in um, at the end of 60s, which was a time where not only culture was homophobic, but even on legislative level, uh, like the laws were homophobic. And um, once uh, police uh, uh, 
conducted a raid and what was um, remarkable is that community fought back really hard. Uh, there were some bricks flying and etc. which um, later led into a nationwide movement uh, and uh, of course we can say that uh, um, LGBT um, rights movement has like one particular route and uh, like no background previously, but it was a very important, uh, important uh, like event that took place that uh, later um, paved road to what turned into a very global uh, queer uh, activist movement. Local example or examples for community places. So, uh, examples of community places uh, in Tbilisi, I think of uh, a writer's palace, uh, which is a very beautiful old building, uh, a century old building built by a uh, famous um, Georgian uh, businessman and uh, also like uh, art patron, David Sarajishvili, uh, who would uh, uh, it would serve as uh, his home at first, but then uh, he uh, left a will uh, that said that it had to be turned into some kind of gallery or something similar. Then after uh, uh, the Bolshevik Revolution, um, Georgian Revolutionary Committee uh, turned it into um, a space for writers where regular meetings and discussions for um, topics that were relevant to literature would be carried out there and to this day it serves as a space for presentations and uh, or for new issues of magazines, new books, um, space for like interviews and Q&A with writers, uh, writers that um, visit Georgia also meet their fans there. I think it's owned by the state right now and it still uh, serves this purpose, yeah. What are the community places? A community space is a place that people gather and connect with each other and share their um, common um, goals and ideas and pursue these ideas together. And it usually depends on the community because community people want different things and different stuff and they all need different uh, equipment, different places to achieve this kind of stuff. Describe the ideal place for your community and what is your community? I think an ideal place for a community is like pretty open and um, help people to express themselves freely without like any kind of barrier or any kind of limitation in the place. And I think in my community is we have the greenhouse, and it's mostly about the, the how do you say, thinking and acting together. And we have all the similar mindsets to pursue the like the political ideas and more creative ideas together. Oh, can you set some examples of your local communities which you really like? I think one of my first experience was that uh, after the Gezi Park protest. People were like squatting or like occupying different streets and different um, spaces between the buildings and the square. And there is this one place that people start like sleeping there and <coughs> using the soil and planting stuff. And it was more like an urban gardening thing. And after some point, there's like the, always the same people around, and all the people had the same goal to the, occupy that place and make it more like open and accessible to everyone and they were like the same mindset people talking about the same things and it was really nice and uh, another one is um, about like the when the political spectrum started to change after like 2015 the people around this couple university near each other to start talking about like how can we like do something about this situation and they were like starting to gather around this different empty parts of the campuses. Uh, one or more local examples uh, for community places. Uh, there's this one example, it's the old, uh, really old historical building and 
there's a the couple floors of it and there you can basically have different communities and different types of communities it's called circuit istanbul yeah. and there is this different types of communities in there because the each community have different needs and different ideas there is there's called like the closed circuit ones it means like you, it's not that accessible to everyone and they they have like long term projects mostly and the uh, open circuit ones have more like <coughs> accessible and ask people to join them and there is the different floors of the building and there's also the garden in it and you can basically do anything with the people you want and you just have to sign up and work on the people there so what are the places for communities and why do they matter uh, places for communities are somehow in between uh, the very private and the very public it's a place where a certain community can gather and uh, just communicate, spend their time together or make something together, like uh, set up some projects. And community places do really matter because if we have our life only divided between our home and our work, our uh, colleagues and our families, then it's going to be quite a dull and tiresome place. And you know, like we are really limited with how many really close people can we have in our life life like we don't choose our family we mostly don't choose people we work with and when it's up to communities and community places here they can come people who are really close to our minds and so through community places our area of world being safe and world being feeling like home can really widen uh, what is your dream community place and what is your community action? Well, um, I also have many communities I can identify with. Uh, I have many communities I can identify with. One of them, maybe the most crucial for me, is the community of creative people, of uh, editors, journalists, and artists, and all the stuff like that. And you know, our communities often feel so fragile, so dependent, like we never know what happens tomorrow and we are always dependent on some circumstances. And what we really need is a place where we can be ourselves and do the things we like, like a little bit more relaxed. And for the artists, for example, it's some maybe some kind of a workshop with all the stuff needed. And the most important thing for us is... Uh, knowledge that we don't have to leave tomorrow if we are not sufficient enough like it is ours we can stay here for a while we can take our time here do you have an example of uh, local communities that have some global impact um, well my example is not just one uh, community place point but maybe the whole district which uh, I would even better say two districts, which were Montparnasse and Montmartre in Paris in the beginning of the 20th century, like 100 years ago, where all the artistic community gathered from all over the world and they have like their own workshops, but the doors never really closed and they had the cafes and cabarets where they were all gathering together and poets and artists and dancers and all of them were like a one big never-ending party and they were sharing so much ideas they were sharing and they were sharing sources with each other as well helping each other and basically what we see today in the modern museums of modern art is what was or painted in the month of Montmartre and Montparnasse or it was done under the influence of what was going on there so I guess it's really an important uh, example so, can you give us one or more, more example of local communities, places that you Yeah, have? the example of local community from my home city, Odessa in Ukraine, is a place called uh, Dvor, Dvorsena, uh, which, is translate, which can be translated as Seeing Courtyard. Uh, you know, Odessa is a city where um, courtyards are they really, they really matter. They like in each present in each old house in the historical center. And for this courtyard, Adeski Dvorik is kind of a brand already. 
And uh, one of such houses in one of such courtyards, uh, the dweller decided to make it public space. And so uh, in one of such houses, uh, people decided to make the courtyard a community place and they have installed a wooden seat and they have made some kind of renovation, uh, put their furniture, flowers, stuff like that. And they started inviting uh, their local musicians, poets, artists, uh, organizing some cultural events. And of course gathering all together, like all the people who live in this house, and it became a really nice place. People started to talk more with each other, know each other better. And now people who organize it, they run a project called the School of Good Library, Школа Добру Сусидства. And they help uh, other like other houses, people from other houses to also develop their own projects and make their own courtyards and their like neighborhoods better and more uh, pleasant. That's it. So what are the community places and why do they matter? Well, I personally think that no matter if the places are uh, privatized or owned by government or a squatted place, as long as that place gathers some people that have the same topic or share some ideas or make a safe place, um, that's a place for communities where people uh, build on each other's ideas and make uh, uh, a big network among each other and uh, learn something new, share their experiences. Uh, it could even be some abstract place where people feel safe and feel part of something. And what is uh, your dream community place and what is your community actually? Uh, well, I think I belong to a different type of communities, but the one that I'm going to concentrate on is the community of maybe creative people. That's a vital place for that community. I cannot imagine really visually or architecturally. It can also be some abstract place that gather people where they can uh, be creative together, build on each other's ideas, make something new together. Uh, share experiences uh, and first of all feel safe um, and feel uh, like they work better and because it's shared with someone and someone somebody else is supporting it and also maybe uh, that place can have some support with technicalities and tools that can help uh, creative people express themselves. What is your experience with the local communities? Um, well, um, I will give one example. In, I'm from Belgrade, and in Belgrade we have uh, that cafe called Chupa, and um, it's a really small cafe, but there is a lot of familiar faces every time I go there, and every time I need to <coughs> share something or I don't feel good, I just go there and I find some place, faces that are familiar, that are going to support me, give me some... Um, support, some ideas, maybe some share their experience that can help me uh, deal with my problem or my, uh, or yeah, build on my idea and give me new examples to improve my idea and maybe uh, profit in something materialistic or... Okay, now can you set some examples of your local communities which you really like? Yes, in Belgrade, uh, we have this one place, NNK, NNK Corpus. Uh, uh, like last year, they kind of squatted the old uh, boat of Jozef uh, Brod's Tito. Um, it's not really a squad because it's still privatized, but uh, they give a lot of their energy and they uh, make a lot of stuff on that boat that is now not moving, it's kind of more a spluff. Uh, and they make a place for homeless people, for everyone that is creative and going to do something, for other kind of exhibitions, uh, a lot of things happening there. And I really believe that in one moment it will not belong to that private guy, but to the people who actually use that, use that space for all these things. Also, I have another example. Uh, 
Kulturnit Enter uh, uh, magazine, and they are also kind of squad in place, but it's still not in law, like legally. It's privatized or it's not government, so they are somewhere in between. <laughs> uh, but they also gather a lot of people, and it's open to everybody, and everyone can go there. They have a lot of uh, culture, cultural, and artistic stuff going on, and uh, it's. Uh, self-sustainable, or self self-organized place, or uh, most of the time it's also free, so um, anybody is welcome, and it's gathered out more and more people every year, and it's built itself more and more every year, um, and yeah. <laughs> okay.